Today we're talking about not just the next generation version 2.0, but the next level scan tool from launch. I'll explain what we're talking about. Let's get started right now. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out the launch CRP129L. I think that's an L, it might be an I, but I'm assuming an L version 2.0. Big shout out to Launch for sending this over and sponsoring this video. What we're looking at here, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, is not just next generation, obviously version 2.0, but this is next level. And what I mean is uh, you have a code reader, which will give you an OBD2 code, tell you what potentially is wrong while your check engine light's on. Then you have a scan tool, like a base low-end scan tool, which will give you more code reading. Maybe you can do some oil light resets, maybe it graphs live data. The CRP129i version 2, this has the next generation of that. It has 12 reset functions in addition to the usual OBD2 code reading. You can get into the engine, transmission, airbags, and ABS systems for deeper diagnostics. It also has FCA auto auth. Big, big shout out to that because this lets you work and communicate better with newer, like 2017 and newer Chrysler vehicles. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this up while we open this and mention that we have our 2020 Outback behind us. We're going to plug into that and uh, first off we're going to check out what's in the box and then see what we can dig into and find in the Outback's computer. Really nice case that this comes in. Let me just go ahead and close this up. There we go. Nice case and what I wanted to mention was the actual resets. I'm not going to try and remember them all, but it has 12 resets. I'm just going to rattle them off super fast. Oil resets, steering angle set straight reset, electronic parking brake, TPMS, throttle adaption, DPF, DPF regeneration, injector coating, battery management service, and the list goes on. I'm not even going to read the rest of them. Um, a lot of cool features and functionality built into this. Here we have the manual that no one ever reads. And on this side, we have the actual OBD2 cable. And I want to take a look at this. The other user's manual is in there, but we'll just set this to the side. While we turn this on, let me look around it here. So pretty solid, durable looking unit. It does have a barrel. This is kind of like a custom circular plug to charge it. That's in the, the uh, case here. And uh, this is where your OBD2 cable goes. Nice unit, nice feels nice so far. We're gonna let this get turned on. I wanna show you the screen real quick and then we'll get the software updated and jump into the, uh, the Outback here. So here we have the actual home screen and buttons feel really nice. Uh, this is a five inch touch screen. This is running on Android 8 if memory serves correct. I believe it has like a 6,000 milliamp hour battery in it. So definitely a next step up. This is something that you're going to be using more than the average like quick get a code or maybe check a uh, you know do a oil light reset and then put this thing back in the in the toolbox. You're probably going to be using this more day to day. So this is actually probably a great use for a shop owner looking for a second tool to help turn bays faster and ID and fix cars quicker and, and just, you know, turn more revenue in the actual shop. Um, we're going to get this plugged into the Wi-Fi and actually get the upgrades done and all the software updates, free software updates on this guy, no actual subscriptions with it. So it's a big bonus. Uh, but let us do all that and then we'll jump into the Outback and actually see what we can see inside the, the actual uh, ABS in the engine and transmission and so on and so forth. So we are in the 2020 Outback here and I'm just going to dive right into it here. You see the home screen. There we go. So I'm just going to hit auto detect. Now I will make a note, this will auto VIN. It's a 2020. Um, we've auto VIN successfully in as old as like a 2005 CRV I have. Older than that, auto venting might not work. I, I know it certainly won't work in my 98 Jeep Cherokee, uh, but in this case, it uh, it looks like it's successfully vinned. We'll just wait for it. There we go. So it's seeing the 2020 Subaru Outback. I'm just going to hit OK. And I think what this will do is give us an ask. It'll ask us to choose the area, like North America or Japan or Europe or something like that. So, yes, yeah, so we have to do an area select. So North America. So here's our year, make, and model. Let's go ahead and click yes. And okay, so we want to make sure it's Outback. 
and I'm just going to dive right into it. We're going to do a health report. And looking at this, this is just looking at every single computer in the car and just giving you a top to bottom, here's what's going on with everything it can see in the car. Um, this unit does not have topology, which is a cool feature to have, but at this price point, you're, you're not going to see it. But here's our diagnostic report, and this is definitely geared towards like a shop owner. If you're just turning cars in and out of the bays all day, every day, um, you maybe want to send this to a customer saying, hey, here's what we found. You click the share button, and then you can just share it as a PDF or in an email. Uh, let me get back out of here. And system scan, I won't click on it, but it's basically the same version of the health report, just you're not getting an actual report out of it. System selection is a manual version of that, so if I just want to dive into the brakes, I can. And let's see what's going on in the brakes here. Uh, I'm going to click read fault code. The check engine light is not on in this car, so we, we knew we weren't going to have any diagnostic codes. But the same thing can be said in the actual engine. I'm just going to click engine. Okay, so let's read a fault code knowing the check engine light is not on, and there we go. So no diagnostic codes. I do want to read some data because looking at this, the live data capabilities are pretty extensive. I was impressed with what we just saw a minute ago here. So you can see, I, I will, I'll go through these quickly, but you can see all the different stuff here. I'm just going to hit select all. And I will make note the car is not running. I just noticed this is 343 of 343. That's impressive. So let's see what all this does. And here's our data here. It's reading directly from the computer right now. And I do see accelerator pedal. The car isn't running, but I'm just going to hit the gas pedal, so to speak. And you can see our values changing. And if we wanted to graph that, we just come over here to the little graph, and you can see where I just pressed the gas pedal. I'll press it a little bit more. There we go. And we're making a nice roller coaster there, but uh, kind of nice to see in case you're chasing like an electrical gremlin or some kind of sensor that might, you know, starting to go bad, but not 100% of the time. So uh, let's back all the way out of here. I'm just going to keep going back. I'm going to hit home. There we go. And OBD2 is more of the same. Okay, so it wants me to, sorry for going over the top of the screen here. I will make this note, sometimes you have to go back. You can only go back through the menus like that. It won't let you get out of it any other way. So, But uh, now we're in the OBD2 section, and this is kind of this, the express checkout directly to code reading. Let's take a look in here. It's going through the different protocols used in the uh, the greater world as far as uh, you know diagnostics. And so here's our VIN and all this stuff. I'm just going to hit, hit enter. And this is kind of more of the same of what we just saw in the actual diagnostic section. We can read codes, clear codes, and read live data. And then there's also the IM readiness mode. I'm not going to click on any of those because it's the exact same thing we just saw in the diagnose section. Let me actually go ahead and get back out here. I am readiness. If you're in, say, California or a state where they are very heavy into their emissions and you know inspecting the emissions equipment, this is a you know push button. Let you know if your car is a clean bill of health or there's something you may want to look at before you take it in to get that almighty emissions uh, sticker put on it. So here's. And again, this is 2020, so it's pretty new. Nothing going on here. But if you had an issue, it would show you. You can even report this out if you're a shop owner. Push the report button, and you can send it right to your customer. Uh, back at the main screen here, th these are the resets I mentioned earlier in the video. And uh, really cool to see the expanded capability here. This makes this unit worth it for you know more in-depth capabilities for a DIYer or a shop owner if you're looking to buy a unit and spend a little bit extra money and get yourself say uh, the five inch touch screen and the buttons here versus just having the touch screen nice to have the reset uh, reset features there speaking of the screen it's a five inch screen and I like personally having these buttons because if you can imagine if you're a shop owner your hands are going to be dirty your, your gloves are going to be greasy this screen is going to be a mess if you don't have the buttons to use to navigate around here. 
Uh, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying this as a shop tool, having these buttons will make a big difference because some of these guys, they don't have buttons and so you're just stuck left touching the screen all day long and you're going to be constantly cleaning the screen. Battery voltage is exactly what it says. You can also see 11.5 volts up here, but this just shows you uh, your current voltage. Data, a lot of nice things in here. If you have diagnostic records or if you want to look up a data trouble code here, in here somewhere, and I'm not sure where it's at, but there's an actual uh, Google Chrome, and I, uh, I mentioned that because it's a web browser if you wanted to look up codes or just do some like light internet surfing to diagnose a car. You can look up data trouble codes here, but uh, you could also go to Fresh Vintage and Fresh Vintage Crash on YouTube and watch our videos too if you wanted. The mall is just like it sounds. If you wanted to buy more in-depth diagnostic and capabilities, this will let you buy them right here. And I'll make mention that all of these are showing, uh, you know, it's a global tool. This tool is sold around the world. You can see Fiat Brazil there, but there's just as much as Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. And there's also Honda, Acura, Kia. And this is where you buy, if you want to buy like some next level diagnostic capabilities, you can see the software subscription there if you do want to buy it. Um, looking at the rest of the stuff here, if you do your firmware and your software upgrades right here, and then settings, just general settings, nothing really to, to see here other than just, you know, all the settings that no one ever looks at. But, you know, wrapping up the video here, let me unplug this guy. This is a nice unit. I'm really uh, impressed with this. I like the buttons. I like being able to have the ability to touch and click around buttons wise. Um, this has a next generation Android 8 versus like Android 6 or 7 on some of the cheaper scan tools we've seen. And having the Wi-Fi is a nice touch. You just push the button, hit the upgrade button, and it starts updating over Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I would say it's a, a, a durable, solid unit. We'll leave the link for this in the description of the video you're watching now along with a few other ones that are similar to this, both brand and other branded units, so you can make the informed decision if you're thinking about buying something at this price point and level. But uh, with that, if you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your car certified fresh and on the road, Fresh Vantage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.